Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog. And uh, no, this blog today is not about my dog, who happens to be over here. This blog today is going to be about the process in the city of Toronto about removing a very large tree. Now I am just about to undergo this process myself, and uh, as if this isn't boring enough, filming my lawn, I'll explain to you why and what happened. See the center of my lawn right here? Yeah, it's pretty green, I've been working at it. But for two years, this house was discharging all of the water from the sump pump right into the center of the yard. Thank you to the builder we bought from. Now what that did was drown this tree. Is that something? Look at it. It is D-E-A-D -E dead. Not a single leaf on it. Well, actually there's a few. So we had to hire a company, and I will write about this, to petition the city of Toronto basically to allow us an exemption. Yes, an exemption to cut down a dead tree that I was actually kind of afraid would fall on the roof of my house. And in the background, you can see the neighbor's tree. Yeah, sure, that's real healthy. And the one behind it as well. It's amazing the hoops we have to jump through with the city to get permission to cut down a dead tree on our own property, but that's a topic for me and my libertarian friends for another day. Now we did move the sump pump discharge to the corner of the yard, and that's that beautiful mess down there. But the damage was done two years of the water discharging in the center of this lawn and it killed what estimated what i would estimate at about a 40 year old tree anyways so let me get some video of the guys cutting it down and we'll do kind of a before during and after stay tuned so we're on day three now and i skipped a couple of days things got really busy at the office but this is the uh, gauntlet here this is where they bring the branches through and they've set up boards here because it's a fantastic mess but how can it not be a mess we're we're cutting down an entire tree um so progress has been made uh the second day the chipper broke down right chipper broke down so they had to stop halfway we got chainsaws we got gasoline we broke the slide that's okay my daughter uh, hasn't used it but as soon as it broke of course she said she wanted it so we've got a little cutting station over here and uh, all these things they put out front in the morning and people came and picked it up for firewood and i don't know maybe you got an artist or something that wants to wants to carve something so anyways you can see there's one more branch up top there uh but uh so what are we monday tuesday wednesday pretty good progress pretty good a little setback there with the chipper but um anyways i don't know maybe end of thursday end of thursday we hope So there it is, folks. Uh, kind of a lackluster ending to this video. I'm showing you a stump. But you get the idea. It took eight days in the end, which is slightly more than the two that they promised. And the yard is a mess. But, uh, you know, I was looking for something to do tonight with my vacuum mulcher. So it's very bittersweet because, yes, the tree was dead and it needed to come down because all kinds of crap was falling off of it and landing in our food. And birds were sitting on top of the tree and dropping down onto us. But uh, there's a void here, literally and figuratively, and there is absolutely no shade now. So anyways, for those of you wondering what does it take to cut down a tree in the city of Toronto, it takes some money for sure. It takes permits. It takes permission. A lot of neighbors are going to stop by and ask questions, and it takes a massive cleanup. Speaking of which, I gotta go.